Congratulations. I just met your moms, by the way. They're lovely, and I'm obsessed with them. But how good does it feel to be in this moment? I mean, I feel like I just saw you at the Oscars, and now you're on Dancing with the Stars, and you did really, really well. Thank you. Really, it's an amazing experience. I'm so proud of Britt and myself both, I guess, our team, because really, we worked so hard for this. And Britt is a special person. As soon as she met me, she opened her heart. She wanted to learn ASL. She's communicating with me directly. That's why I poor Gabe. He just gets to kick it and he's bored sometimes because we can communicate and work. But sometimes he comes when she needs help once in a while. But again, we're a great team. And really, I'm proud of us. We did it. And we're not done. We've got to keep going. I'm looking forward to next week and the week after. We've got to go far as we can. Yeah, week one, don't get too excited. No, but you should be so excited. But for you to be kind of newish to the show still and then do so well and have such a special partner, what is it like for you? It's amazing, and it is such an honor. I really do feel like, you know, this is only my third season as a pro, so you're right. It is kind of new-ish, but I do feel like I'm more confident. I'm really, like, in myself on the ballroom floor more than ever this season. And I feel like it's such an honor that I was partnered with Daniel. I feel like the show really trusts me to bring his story forward and that I will be able to highlight deaf culture and community. So it feels really good. I think it's so wonderful because I think when I think of, when I see you do so well, I think so many people will say, you know what? I have a challenge, I have something, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I can go out there and I can do anything. I mean, how important is it for you to kind of instill that in the people that see you and, you know, and others on the show as well? Thank you for asking that question. I always want to talk about this. Really, in some interviews, they're like, what's your most, what's your biggest challenge? And they're looking for that deaf question. And it's not a challenge because I'm deaf. Everyone has their own challenges. Some people can't dance and they can hear. We saw tonight. <laughs> but everyone has challenges. I'm proud I'm here. We are showing our community and her community and Gabe's community, my interpreter. We're letting our teams know that we're here. And we're showing that we can work together and have fun and be beautiful. It's my goal to be competitive and respect the other competitors and just keep it up. And that's a beautiful moment. I just want to stay in it. I'm so thankful to have Britt and Gabe and we're here. Well, listen, uh, speaking of communities, we just I just spoke to your moms about Shangela and Gleb. It is a big moment for the LGBTQ community to finally see two men on the dance floor together in the U.S. I mean, how cool does it feel to be a part of this season as well? I'll start with you this time. Yes, I think it's beautiful. I think it's an amazing thing to be part of a show, Dancing with the Stars and Disney, that they allow representation yes. to be celebrated. You know, Daniel being deaf, representing his culture. Um, Shangela, just amazing. She came out on the floor and was fantastic and representing the LGBTQ plus community and being the first drag queen is absolutely amazing. Um, so it's, it's an honor to be a representation for my community as well. Daniel, do you want to add a little bit to that? Yes, definitely. I support Shangela and I support the LGBTQ community because again, I was adopted by my moms and I became successful because of them. Really, they saved me from a sad situation. I could have had way, a way more worse life. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for my moms. And I see what my moms go through growing up, seeing how people treat them, everything. And when I saw Shangela here, I was like, yes. Thank you to Hollywood. Thank you for Disney for opening the door for more diversity. We need to be here because everyone needs to see this. Well, listen, your moms um, feel the love from the support that you give them as well. They told me that. So, you know, it's such a special moment to see you. Um, so I can't wait to see what's next. Elvis week is coming. Um, but so good to meet you and so great to see you. And I'll see you next week. Next week. Next week. Thank you. Yes. I can't wait. See you next week, man.